Uh, Sam Cedar Simp, Trump cosplaying as someone who thinks he he doesn't deserve a living wage was the grossest thing I've done in a long time, uh, seen in a long time. Indeed. In fact, let's play that. Um, here's Donald Trump uh, loading fries at the fry station in uh, Feasterville, Pennsylvania, McDonald's. I, I guess, uh, presumably, it was to show that he's a working man or uh, that, uh, you know, he wanted to be able to say that he worked at McDonald's like uh, yeah, it's uh, a little... Harris did. I'm not I'm not clear what this was about. I would have loved to seen him clear uh, clean out the fryer because uh, the um, watching that drip on him and him screaming in pain would have been uh, interesting. But here he is um, uh, getting some fries at McDonald's. Give him like a salt on it. Never touches the human hand. Very good, very nice good. and full. Thank you. Good. Tight. Yep. Um, Beautiful. And uh, when he does interact with uh, some people coming through the drive through who aren't exactly, um, uh, I guess, maybe Trump voters per se, uh, he has an interesting way of deflecting. Minimum wage should be raised. Well, I think this. I think these people who work hard, they're great. And I just saw something, a process that's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to see. These are great franchises and produce a lot of jobs. And it's great. And great people working here, too. But minimum, minimum wage should be raised. Really increased. People. So, yes, ma'am. Minimum wage should be Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the classic. Um, wait, you haven't addressed the minimum wage. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, can I help you with something? It's a beautiful process. In it's here. a beautiful process. And then he like he can't even figure out how to sound like he appreciates what the workers are doing. He immediately defers to like these are great franchises. You know who doesn't own the franchises? The people working there. Yeah. Because this is what's always been confused about this. He's doing it to make fun of Kamala. Um, they're, they're saying that it's because they don't think she actually worked there. But if they found out she did, they would still make fun of her because they think it's funny to work at McDonald's. That's well, the whole thing behind this whole uh, stunt. It's funny to, that he's doing it. Well, they went from, you know, uh, you know, questioning whether AOC actually worked at that bar and whether her name was really was actually Sandy or something like that to then mocking her for working at a bar. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and this is, it's so revealing that it's like, well, OK, now do you have a appreciation of what these people do? Because I worked at the Fry Station uh, in Bismarck, North Dakota. Um, I, I would love to see Trump take an actual order. I mean, people pointed out the restaurant wasn't actually open, um, obviously, and it was like supporters that were ordering the stuff. But I would love to see Trump take a or, fry order where they say no salt and see how he uh, contends with that uh, little uh, curveball. <laughs> um, like, no salt? What are you talking about? It's all covered in salt. Um, but yeah, it, it's a, it, it, people should be insulted I, um, that he did that, but I don't know if that gets translated. No. No, they will. That will not get translated, but people should be insulted. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.